What is up, y'all? It is Bernadette Joy, and today I am going to share with you some of the mistakes that I see people make, and those mistakes are costing them their ability to crush debt. I paid off $300,000 of debt in three years, and I'm going to share with you some of the mistakes to avoid so that you can crush your debt faster. Check it out. I'm here to talk about uh, financial wellness, and I have kind of a niche area within financial wellness, which is uh, living a debt-free lifestyle. Um, I teach basically telling my own story and telling things that I've learned personally, not theory. So anything that I've talked about is stuff that I've done myself. So take what works for you. One of the things I used to kind of roll my eyes as change your mindset and everything. But I realized when it came to money, that was probably the hardest obstacle that I had to overcome myself personally, because I think, and maybe some of you guys can relate to this, is that we've all grown up with some preconceived notions about finances and money, whether it's from our parents or school or our friends. I just was texting with someone this morning and she said her mom was telling her to go get a car loan and she was trying to explain to her mom why she didn't want to do that. We're in our 30s and 40s now and we're still having these debates <laughs> with family members. So that was something that was really hard to get over. So I thought it'd be really important to talk through some of the myths that I had to talk through myself in order to get it right on this journey. The first one is one that I hear very often, which is I don't know much about money. I told myself maybe I'm just not good with money because I don't know much about it. But the truth of the matter is there are so many easy ways to learn about money nowadays and so many of them are free, like including coming to a workshop like this, that if you feel like you're not 100% savvy when it comes to finances and money topics there's so many ways and that's how actually i started was when i found out that i had seventy thousand dollars in student loan debt i went to youtube and just watched every possible video i could watch and my poor husband had to listen to podcasts while we were sleeping i was absorbing it <laughs> in my sleep and then reading lots of blogs and websites for example i do have the podcast like i mentioned we also have a youtube channel where i post videos regularly you can actually learn a lot on social media i happen to be on instagram a lot and so I like to follow other people who are doing debt-free stuff, and that's a really great, great way to learn. For example, this past year, my husband and I were looking to buy a new car. I never bought a car in cash before. I've always taken out loans. And so I went out and asked people, like, has anyone bought a car in cash? And we got some awesome tips in terms of negotiating and like what, what to look for. So it's a great place. If you don't know anyone who's on this journey, that you can make some new friends. The next thing is I am bad with math and money. And what I like to tell people is, if you pass fifth grade math, then you can be great with money. And this is really true. All of the basics of financial planning, in my opinion, is just a matter of adding, subtracting, multiplying if you have other people going on, or dividing stuff if you've got other people. And there's only two equations that you really need to know when it comes to money. It's pretty simple. If you are spending more money than you make, guess what you have? What do you have? Debt. <laughs> Debt, right? And if your expenses are more than what you make, then what do you have? Wealth. Wealth, right? So seems pretty simple, and yet how many people are in debt? So it's clearly not just a math thing. There's obviously a lot more behind it, and that's the piece that really fascinates me is the psychology behind math. One of the reasons that you shouldn't t tell yourself that you can't be good with money is because of the math part, because really the math is simple. I had a client tell me this two weeks ago, said everyone else has debt, so what's the big deal? I'm not the only one who has student loans and credit cards and car payments. And that's true, a lot of people do have that stuff, but it doesn't mean we have to be like everybody else. And also, there's so much that I think what I've learned through this process is that a lot of people are not talking about and that you don't see. And one of the biggest surprises to me in this journey was when I was paying off this debt and posting on social media, I had a lot of people reaching out to me like the quintessential doctors and lawyers and people who were in my previous career in finance who I thought were doing really well for themselves because they had really nice cars and really nice houses, but then they were secretly DMing me and saying, I'm drowning in debt. Everyone may have debt, but luckily you've met at least one person in your life, which is me, who does not have debt. And my husband and I, we paid this off in April of this year. A lot of people commented like, oh, you guys are so young to be able to, we're not that young, we're in like our late 30s, but the moral of the story is that any life stage you can do this at. You don't have to wait until you're in your 50s to be able to pay everything off, which a lot of people think they'd have to do. So, homework for right now, I'll give you guys uh, a minute to write this down, is what is one way you can commit to learn about money this month? Whether it's, I'm going to listen to one podcast a month uh, this month, or I'm going to read one new book this month, 
or I'm gonna watch five YouTube videos if that's where you like to be. And just write that down. You don't have to think about for the rest of your life or even the rest of this year, just for the next 30 days, what is one way you can commit to learning about money this month? If you like this video, stay tuned for more videos I post weekly on how to save, invest, and fast track your financial freedom. And if you like reading, check out my book. It's now available for pre-order in the links below. And it is called Crush Your Money Goals by Simon & Schuster and me, Bernadette Joy, available December 2024. But you can pre-order now and you will get my bonus free course when you purchase my book. See you soon.